Hello, Miffy. What's inside that big box? Lots of things. It's the school fair today, and I'm running the Lucky Dip. How exciting! Let's hope the fair is full of lucky people. <laughs> lucky Dip! Lucky Dip! Why don't you come and play? Every prize is something nice. What will you win today? Hello, Miffy. Wow, a Lucky Dip. Can I have a go? Of course. Uh-uh. Mm. No peeking. Oh, what would you like to find? A new colouring pencil. I broke all mine drawing a spotty dog. Spot, spot, spot. <laughs> Maybe you should feel for something long and pointy. Good idea. Let's see. Long and pointy. Aha! Oh, it's long and pointy, but I can't draw pictures with it. <laughs> no, it would make a nice snack though. But I'm not hungry, and I had carrots for breakfast. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't get something you wanted, Grunty. It's okay. It was fun playing anyway. Bye, Miffy. Bye! Enjoy the rest of the fair! Hi, Miffy! Ready to try your luck, Dan? Go on, then. Thank you. Hmm, I'd really like to find something to eat. That's a book. Hmm, that feels like a comb. I can't eat those. Not unless you're really hungry. <laughs> hmm, this feels nice and soft and squishy. Ooh, ooh, what a pretty bow. Yes, but I don't think it would suit me. Hmm, maybe you should try it on. Let's see. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> you are right. It really doesn't suit you. No, I don't wear bows. I can't eat it either. Never mind. I had fun anyway. I'm going to find something to eat. See you later, Missy. Bye, Dan. Oh, dear. My lucky dip stall isn't lucky at all. Don't give up, Miffy. Bad luck can't last forever. Maybe your next customer will be really lucky. Let's hope so. Lucky dip, lucky dip, come and play. Every prize is something nice. What will you win today? Hi, Miffy. Hi, Melanie. Do you want to try my lucky dip? Yes, please. I'm always lucky. I'm going to pull out something pretty. I just know it. <laughs> uh, oh, well, it's quite a pretty pencil. I suppose. But I've got loads of coloured pencils. I don't need any more. Here, put it back in the box. Maybe someone who wants it will pull it out next time. Bye, Miffy. Bye, Melanie. <laughs> if only Granty had pulled out this pencil, that would have been lucky. <gasps> oh! Hold on, that's it! I know how to make everybody lucky! Melanie, wait! Melanie, huh? come with me. Oh. Hmm. Come on, Dan. Hmm? What's going on? This way. Oh! <laughs> Oh, come on, Grunty. Ooh. Okay. Right. None of you are very lucky at my lucky dip stall. Not really. Not really. But I know how to make it all right. Melanie, here's your prize. Thanks, Miffy. But I said I don't need it. No. But Grunty wanted a colouring pencil. Mm -hmm. Here you are, Grunty. Oh, thank you, Melanie. And Dan was pretty hungry. Oh, so he can have my carrot. Here you are. Yum. Thanks, Grunty. But that leaves Melanie without a prize. Would you like my bow? Oh, yes.
Yes, please, Dan. It's so pretty. There, see? Now you all have something you want. Uh, yes! Cool. Look at that! It really was a lucky dip. It's lucky to have someone clever like Miffy running it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I'm lucky to have friends like you. <laughs> Bye, Miffy. Bye, Dan. See you later. Bye, Melanie. Bye, Miffy. Bye, Grunty. It seems your luck has changed, Miffy. Maybe you should have a go at the lucky dip yourself now. Mmm, good idea. Right. I've got a ball at home. Maybe my luck hasn't changed after all. I don't know. I'm sure you'll find someone to give it to. <laughs> Snuffy! It's your lucky day. <laughs> Hello, Miffy. What have you got there? My new ice skates. They're very nice. Are you good at ice skating? I'm quite good, but Barbara's even better. She promised to take me skating when I got my new skates. Hmm? Huh? Hi, Boris. Hello there, Miffy. What are you making? I'm just mending this chair. Nearly finished. Here. She said when I got my new ice skates, she'd teach me how to spin. Sorry, Miffy. Barbara's gone shopping. Oh. I'm sure she'd love to take you another day. <sighs> OK. Bye then, Boris. You could stay and help me fix this chair if you like. <laughs> With your help, I'll get it done in no time. Oh, and then maybe you can take me ice skating. But I can't. Please. Well, I suppose if you really Hooray! want... Oh. Now, show me what to do. You have to get yourself ready. Keep everything steady. It takes time to get it right. Get yourself ready. Keep everything steady. It takes time to get it right. We fixed the chair, so now we can go ice skating. <laughs> Great. Come on. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> skating is such fun. <laughs> Coming. Give me a moment. I'm just checking my, my skates are on properly. <laughs> they look fine to me. Come on, Boris. This way. Okay. Here goes. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> Boris, what happened? Oh, I'm sorry, Miffy. I don't know how to ice skate. Oh. Here, let me help you up. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Miffy, it's a shame Boris looks so sad when you're having so much fun. Hmm, yes, it is sad. It's a shame Boris hasn't learned to ice skate. Well, you're very good at ice skating. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could teach him how to skate as well as you. Oh, yes. Just like Boris taught me how to fix the chair. Boris, it's easy. Just copy what I do and... Skate! Wow! It looks so easy when you do it, but I just don't know how. What you do is bend your knees, put one foot forward and push. Whee! <laughs> now you try it. OK. <sighs> oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Miffy. I don't think I'm ever going to get it. <laughs> but ice skating is so much easier than fixing chairs. Not for me, it isn't. I'm good with chairs. Oh, chairs! I know how you can learn to skate. So, you bend your knees, put one foot forward and push. Ah! Here you go. 
Thanks, Miffy. I need a rest after all this falling over. <laughs> it's not for sitting on. You're going to skate with it. What do you mean? You'll see. This is how I learnt to ice skate. You have to get yourself ready, keep everything steady. It takes time to get it right. Come on, Boris, give it a go. OK, I'll try. You have to get yourself ready, keep everything steady. It takes time to get it right. Okay. Whoa. That's it, Boris. You're skating. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Wow, Boris. You've learned how to skate. Hi! Whoa! <laughs> and now I've learned how to stop. <laughs> but I thought you couldn't skate, Boris. He can now. I taught him. That's wonderful. <sighs> yes. I really enjoy skating now. All oh, thanks to Miffy. <laughs> and Boris's chair. Come on, Boris. Show Barbara what you can do. Whoa. Thanks, Miffy. Thanks, chair. <laughs> You're welcome, Boris. And now you're sitting comfortably, you can watch my skating show! Yeah! Whoa! Brilliant! Well wow. done, Mippy! <laughs> <laughs> OK, what have we got? Carrots, onions, potatoes... <laughs> Daddy is going to love his surprise dinner! Yes, tomato stew is his favourite. I just hope we can make it in time. You'll be really fast with me helping, like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! I must have used all of our tomatoes in the salad yesterday. There's none left. We can't make tomato stew without any tomatoes, even if we do go fast. Hmm, maybe we can if you go really fast, Miffy. Would you go to Barbara's shop and buy some tomatoes while I get everything else ready? Oh, yes. I'll be super fast. I won't stop for anything, I promise. Meow. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> Meow. Whee. <laughs> oh, my word. You're in a hurry, Miffy. I've got to get to Barbara's shop to buy tomatoes for Mummy's stew. Well, that's very helpful. But do you have to go so fast? Yes, it's a surprise for Daddy. So it's really important to be super fast. Woohoo! <coughs> Come on, Coit. <coughs> oh, hi, Grunty. Missy, I need some help. I'm sorry, Grunty, I can't stop. I'm on an important mission. I've got an important mission too. My kite's stuck. I can't pull it down by myself. Um, I'd like to help, but I promised Mummy I wouldn't stop for anything. But, sorry, Grunty. Maybe someone else will come along soon. Bye! Oh, how am I supposed to get it down now? Ugh. Ouch. <sighs> Whoa! Hi, Barbara. I need some tomatoes quickly, please. Whoa! Hi, Miffy. I'll be with you in a moment. Whoa! Oh, I promised Mummy I'd be as fast as I can. <laughs> oh, well, if it's a promise, that's another matter. Mmm, they look juicy. Thank you, Barbara. No problem. Friends always help out if they can, right? Uh, right. Uh... <sighs> Is something wrong, Miffy? I thought you'd be halfway home by now. Hmm. I was in such a rush to get here, I didn't stop to help Grunty. Did she need your help? Yes. Her kite was stuck in the tree. But I promised Mummy I wouldn't stop for anything. 
I'm sure your mummy wouldn't mind you stopping, if it was to help someone who needed it. Hmm. You're right, Barbara. I should go and help Grunty. Bye, Miffy. Bye. Oh. Would you like some help, Barbara? Hmm. Yes, please, Miffy. There. Lovely. Thank you, Miffy. And that didn't take too long, did it? No, but I'd better go super fast now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Miffy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Boris. <laughs> Grunty! Grunty! What? Am I in your way? I thought we were supposed to be friends. We are friends, Grunty. And I should have stopped and helped you the first time. You mean? Yes, I'm going to help you now. Let's get that kite down. Yippee! <laughs> Thanks, Missy! On three. One, two, three! <laughs> <laughs> it's moving! <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> Thanks for helping, Missy. You're welcome, Grunty. Would you like to come back for dinner? I'm sure Mummy won't mind. We're having tomato stew. Oh, yes, please. Let me tell Poppy on the way. What are we waiting for? Hurry, Missy. <laughs> Here, Mummy. I'm sorry I wasn't faster, but I had to stop to help Grunty. Goodness, you were very fast, Miffy. I've only just got to the part where I need the tomatoes. I couldn't have got my kite back without her. Really? Oh, that was really kind of you, Miffy. Well done. And Grunty, would you like to stay for dinner? I'd love to. It smells great. So, you don't mind that I stopped? Of course not. <laughs> not if you were helping someone else. Mmm. Yummy. Now there's only one thing left to do and we can't do it quickly. What's that? Wait for us due to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, oh, delicious. What a treat to come home to. All thanks to Miffy. She's been very helpful today. And not just to me. Yes, thank you, Miffy. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, oh, there's enough for one more helping. Anyone? Oh, <laughs> no. I'm full. Me too. I could probably manage another bowl. Of course. There you are. Friends always help out if they can, right? <laughs> oh, Grunty. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> Very smart. Ooh. Hello. Hello, Hello Barbara. Barbara. Hello, Barbara. Hi, Miffy. Are you ready to have lots of fun tonight, Miffy? Yes. I love it when you babysit. I think Miffy's looking forward to our night out even more than we are. <laughs> Come on, Barbara. Let's find the game to play. <laughs> Let's go. We'll be off then, Barbara. Now, are you okay to give Miffy her dinner and get her ready for bed? Of course. <laughs> Bye, Miffy. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Bye, Mummy. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> the house is ours. Let's dance. Your tummy feels like dinner. <laughs> so let's make some food. What would you like to eat, Miffy? I can cook pasta or potatoes or pancakes. I'd like pancakes. Pancakes? Are you sure? Yes, let's make pancakes. It's fun. But I've never made pancakes before. Don't worry. I've seen Mummy make them lots of times. I can tell you exactly what to do. First, we need the ingredients. Milk. <sighs> Flour. <sighs> Eggs. Wow, that was fast, Miffy. 
I could do with a speedy helper like you in my shop. <laughs> Flour, one, two, milk. Right, all the ingredients are in. Now for the mixing. Right then. I know. Is ready. What do we do next? Next, we cook it in the pan. Okay, but I don't think we should dance while we do that, Miffy. <laughs> no. Oh, I can't wait! This is the best bit. You get to flip it up in the air to cook the other side. Oh, I never flipped a pancake before. All right, here goes. Oh dear! It's stuck! Come out, Pancake! <laughs> I know! Jiggle it! <laughs> like it's dancing! <clears throat> Try flipping it a bit harder! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's try again! <laughs> Maybe a bit less hard than that, Barbara! Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Barbara, oh. you're meant to catch it again. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Caught it. Wow, Barbara. You've really got the hang of it now. <laughs> <sighs> this one's for you. Oh, we've used all the mixture up. Never mind. You can share my pancake. Thanks, Miffy. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, mm, delicious. Mm, not bad for my first go. And you were right. It was fun making them. <laughs> and it was even funnier flipping them. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That was yummy. What a lot of mess. I think we should start tidying before your mummy and daddy get home. Oh, but I want to have more fun with you, Barbara. Do you know what, Miffy? I think I know a way that we can tidy up and have fun. Really? How? Hooray! <laughs> your teeth. Hello, Barbara. Hi there. Where's Miffy? I'm coming. Oh, wow, you look all ready for bed. <sighs> look, Mummy, I've brushed my teeth and we cleaned the whole kitchen too. Oh, very good. Oh, <gasps> I think you missed a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. Hello, Miffy. What's that you've got there? It's a recorder. I didn't know you played the recorder. I don't. Well, I didn't. Mummy found it in the attic, and I'm going to play a song with my friends. Oh, lovely. What will you play? We're learning a song for teacher's birthday. We're all bringing our instruments, so we can play it for her in class tomorrow. I'm not sure I know that tune, Miffy. Me neither. Recorders sound funny. I'm sure it will sound great by tomorrow. Hmm. I better go. Hello, everyone. Hi, Miffy. Hi. Miffy. Hi. Look, I've brought a recorder. 
Great! I've got my ukulele. I've got my violin. And I've got a tuba. <laughs> wow, you all play really well. My recorder doesn't sound nearly as good as that. Maybe I shouldn't play. Go on, Miffy. Mm -hmm. We'd love to hear you. Yes, go on. Please play, Miffy. Mm, OK. <coughs> it doesn't sound right, does it? No, not really. Not quite. No. Oh, I want to play a proper tune like you. Maybe you'd be better on a different instrument. Of course. Good idea, Dan. Here, try my ukulele. Uh. <sighs> you better have a spark. Mm. Here, try this. You play the violin by rubbing the bow uh. against the strings. Okay. No. Try my tuba. Don't forget to take an extra deep breath. <laughs> it didn't sound like that when you played. It did when I started. The first time I played it went... <gasps> time to be good at playing an instrument. It took me ages to get from <coughs> to <coughs> But teacher's birthday is tomorrow. I don't want to play if I sound like this. <coughs> Bye. Oh dear. Bye, Miffy. How's the song coming along, Miffy? I'm not ready to play it yet. I have to wait. Wait for what? Until I'm good at playing the recorder. Melanie said it takes time to become good. Um, I think there's a bit more to it than just waiting. Hmm. <laughs> oh, hello, Miffy. How was the rehearsal? <sighs> I wasn't very good at playing the recorder because I've only just started. Yes, it takes time to become good. That's what Melanie said. But how long will it take? <laughs> well, it depends how often you play. <laughs> Mummy! How long did you have to wait to play like that? I didn't wait, I practiced. The more I played, the better I got. Get it? So if I keep practicing, I'll get better too. I'm sure you will. Practice makes perfect. It doesn't sound perfect. Don't give up. Try to blow more slowly. That's it. Keep going. Mummy! It is sounding better. Well done, Miffy. Keep going. You're doing really well. <laughs> You'll be fine for tomorrow if you keep practising.
Good morning, Miffy. That's a pretty picture. Thank you. I'm making a birthday card. It's Mummy's birthday today. Oh, lovely. Are you having a party? Shh. <laughs> it's a secret. It's going to be a surprise party. How exciting. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Look, Daddy. That's a nice card, Miffy. But remember, don't give it to Mummy before the party. We're pretending we've forgotten all about her birthday. <laughs> yes. Now, do you remember what I need you to do? Mm-hmm. Keep Mummy out of the way while you get everything ready for the party at Aunt Alice's house. Well, not just me. Aunt Alice is making decorations. Poppy is sending Grunty over with a cake. Ooh, yummy. Poppy makes good cakes. <laughs> we should be ready by lunchtime. Do you think you can keep Mummy busy until then? Easy peasy. And I promise I won't do anything to spoil the surprise. Anything? What about that card? Oops. Keeping things secret is going to be harder than I thought. Right, I've got to head into town to pick up Mummy's present. Boris said he'd get me some wrapping paper and... Shh! Oh. Mummy's coming. Good morning. Good morning, Mummy. Oh, uh, morning, dear. Um, did you want to say anything else to me? You do remember what day it is today? Oh, yes, of course. It's a very special day. <gasps> yes, it's the day that Boris washes my car. <laughs> hmm. I'm driving over to his workshop now. Bye. Honestly. Would you like to go for a walk, Mummy? What a nice idea. I know. Let's go to see Aunt Alice. She won't have forgotten what day it is. Uh, we can't. It might rain. Or get dark. What are you talking about? It's a lovely sunny day. Come on. Uh, um, wait. I've got a better idea. Can we go to the farm? The farm? Yes. The farmer said yesterday that his chicks were about to hatch. Can we see them, Mummy? Please? Mm, that does sound nice. All right, then. The farm it is. Phew. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Hello, Miffy. I've just been to the shop to get your dad Shh. this wrapping paper. Boris. Boris, aren't you supposed to be in your workshop? Uh, am I? I mean, uh, yes, I am, because... Because it's car wash day. The day you wash Daddy's car. Oh, yes, of course. That's why I went to the shop to get this uh, colourful cleaning cloth. Better go and get polishing. Bye. <laughs> Funny old Boris. That cloth looked more like paper to me. Come on, Mummy. Let's go and see the chicks now. <laughs> Hungry little things, aren't they? Look how fluffy they are, <laughs> Mummy. Oh, thank you. Hey, chick chicks. <laughs> go huh? round. Oh. There you go. Hello, Grunty. Oh, hello, Grunty. Where are you going with that? Uh, I was, um, taking it for a walk. You're taking the cake for a walk? Yeah. Cakes love fresh air. Bye then. Bye, Grunty. How very odd. Well, the chicks have had their lunch, so now I'm off for mine. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'm getting hungry too. We'd best get home. Wait, if it's lunchtime, we have to go to Aunt Alice's house. Come on. Oh, Miffy, I can't take any more strange things today. Daddy and his car wash day, Grunty taking a cake for a walk, and you telling me we can't go to Aunt Alice's house, and now telling me we have to. Oh. And not one person has remembered that it's my birthday today. Oh, it's your birthday? Happy birthday, Mummy. Oh, thank you, Miffy. That does make me feel better. All right, if you want to go to Aunt Alice's, let's go. Whew. 
What's Daddy's car doing here? Um, What's the front door doing open? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so dark in here? Surprise! Surprise! Oh, happy Yay! Birthday! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Here we are. Oh, what an amazing surprise. I really thought you'd all forgotten. We'd never forget your birthday, Mummy. Oh, no. But I did forget your card. You mean this card? <laughs> Good job I didn't forget. Thank you, Daddy. Here. Happy birthday, Mummy. Thank you. That's lovely, Miffy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's taken ages to cook breakfast, Mummy. Uh, yes, he is. But his special Sunday scrambled eggs are worth waiting for. Mmm, yummy. Breakfast is served. <laughs> oh, aren't we having a special Sunday scrambled eggs? Oh, I'm sorry, Miffy, but we haven't got any eggs. No eggs? I thought Boris always delivered eggs to us on Saturdays. I know. He left us our usual carton of milk, but no eggs. It's a mystery. Oh, I love mysteries. <laughs> so are you going to solve the mystery of the missing eggs, Miffy? <laughs> yes. I'm going to go and find out what happened and find our eggs. Bye. Good luck. Hmm. Hello, Miffy. Have you dropped something? I'm trying to solve a mystery. Our eggs have disappeared. Goodness me, what a terrible crime. It is. It means Daddy can't make his special scrambled eggs. Do you have any suspects, Detective Miffy? Mm-hmm. Boris was supposed to deliver the eggs to our house, but he didn't. So, you've come to Barbara's shop looking for Boris. That's clever. Yes. Time to go inside. Mm. Uh. Mm. Um, hello, Miffy. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for eggs. Do you know where Boris is? <laughs> you think Boris took your eggs? <laughs> no, not really. But Boris does sometimes forget things. He might have forgotten to deliver them. <laughs> You're right, Miffy. But he didn't forget this time. How do you know? Well, normally the eggs are waiting for me when I get to the shop. But I didn't get any yesterday. Or today either. So Boris couldn't deliver them to you. Hmm. This mystery is getting more mysterious. Where do you get the eggs from, Barbara? From the farmer, of course. Hmm. Aha. Then I need to go to the farm and ask him where all the eggs have got to. Bye. Bye, Miffy. Good luck. I'm very sorry, Grunty. But we always have eggs for breakfast on Sundays. Oh, hi, Miffy. Hello, Grunty. Are you looking for eggs? Yes. How did you know? Because I am as well. Boris didn't deliver any to our house yesterday. Same here. So Aunt Poppy sent me over to ask for them. Seems I owe you both an apology. You see, my hens lay their eggs in this hen house. So, the eggs are in there? Right. No, Grunty. When I checked on them yesterday, I found there was a leak in the roof. Idea. I bet the hens don't like being rained on. Ooh. They don't. So I reckon they've found other places to lay their eggs. I've been too busy fixing the leak to find out where. Don't worry. Grant and I will find those eggs. It'll be like a treasure hunt. Oh, with eggs for prizes. Yummy! I need one for me, one for Mummy and one for Daddy. That's three. I want one and so does Aunt Poppy. That's four and five. Um, actually, could you find six? 
I fancy one for my breakfast too. <laughs> okay. Come on, Grunty. Let's get detecting. Hunting for eggs. Where can they be? Under a bush. Next to a tree. Hunting for eggs. Hey, but then Hunting for chickens. What can I hear? Grunty, listen. Horses don't cluck. <gasps> oh! We found our first egg. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hunting for eggs. Where can they be? One. Hunting for eggs. For Granty and me. Another one. Hunting for eggs. To go in my tummy. <gasps> one here for Daddy. There's one here for Mummy. Hunting for eggs. Another one, look. Thank you, Miss Chicken. Buck, 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 buck. Hmm. Ah, there we go. We're, We're back. back. Oh, well done. You found my eggs. And my chickens, too, by the look of it. Now all the mysteries are solved, we can finally have our breakfast. Hooray! When your eggs are as tasty as mine, they're worth waiting for. And my daddy's scrambled eggs are the tastiest of all. <laughs> that gives me an idea. Mmm. Thanks, Daddy. Your special Sunday scrambled eggs are the best. Oh, oh yes, they really are delicious. Mm. Mm. Very Yummy. tasty. Thank you for inviting us all to share them, Miffy. Can we come and have them next Sunday too? Go on then. But on one condition, you all get to do the washing up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deal. <sighs> Melanie, I'm sure Granta will be here soon. I wish she'd hurry up. She's taking ages. The two of us can play something while we wait. I know. Let's play Who Can Hold the Longest. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh. 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 Pop, pop, boing, 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 oh, boing, boing, boing. Oh, Granty, boing. What are you doing? Copying you. Copying is fun. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> boing. Hey, boing, boing. that gives me an idea for a game. Follow the leader. One of us is the leader, and the others copy what they do. Brilliant! I'll be leader first. Come on, copy me! Flap, flap! Hey! <laughs> Come on, Grunty! Come in! Flap, flap! Flap, flap! Now, jump in the flap, air! Flap. Like this! <laughs> <laughs> now, run around the outside of the house as fast as you can! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Hang on, Melanie! Come back! I didn't say stop. But you're going too fast. Um, maybe someone else should be leader for a bit. Grunty, why don't you be the leader? Then you can choose how fast we go. Oh, OK. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, no, stop. <laughs> no, 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 stop. No, stop. <laughs> stop doing everything <laughs> I do. Stop, stop doing, doing everything, everything I, I do. do. <laughs> 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 huh? Ooh, Grunty. Grunty, I smell something delicious. Ah, there. Ooh, mmm, cherry tart. Yummy. <laughs> Grunty, it's meant to be follow the leader, not follow your nose. <laughs> Sorry, Grunty, you'll have to wait if you want a piece. It's far too hot to eat yet. Now I know what my next action is. Sit and wait. <laughs> Grunty, we can't follow you if you don't do anything. So what should I do? The leader has to do fun things. That everyone else finds fun too. <gasps> Why don't you take the lead, Miffy? You can show us how it's done. Great idea, Grunty. OK. Come on, everyone. Follow me. Let's, Let's go. go! Follow, Follow Miffy! Miffy. 
follow the leader is such fun Spin like me now everyone When I stretch, you do the same This is a really funny game Follow Miffy, come and play Do what Miffy does today Miffy's here to lead us all On fun adventures, big and small Follow me now on your bike Going fast is what I like I like going downhill fast Snuffy, look, we're whizzing past <laughs> Follow <laughs> Snuffy, come and play To what Snuffy does today Snuffy's here to lead us all On fun adventures, big and small Oh, hello, girls Here you go Grab a brush and make a start on your latest work of art. Miffy, Melanie, very nice. Grunty. Maybe just one slice? Grunty. <laughs> Follow Miffy, come and play. Do what Miffy does today. Miffy's here to lead us all on fun adventures, big and small. Hey, Miffy, can I join the line? Yes, of course, but keep in time. Climbing high and sliding down. Spinning round. Here I come and here I go. Oh. Watch out, Boris! Take it slow! <laughs> Follow Miffy, come and play. Do what Miffy does today. Miffy's here to lead us all on fun adventures, big and small. Follow Miffy, come and play. Do what Miffy does today. Miffy's here to lead us all on fun adventures, big and small. <laughs> Still smells delicious. Is it cool enough to eat yet? Oh, hello, girls. It certainly is. Who wants a slice? Me, please. Me, Me please. please. Hey, I thought the game was over. <laughs> <laughs> I hope there's enough for everyone. What do you mean? They followed me home. Look. Oh, oh that looks delicious. Yeah, cherry pie. <laughs> yes, please. I'll take the lead this time. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Catch, Snuffy! Hello there, Miffy. Hello. Did you see Snuffy catching my ball? Yes. She's very good at catching. I think she wants another go. <laughs> Ready, Snuffy? Catch! <laughs> Ice cream! Ice cream! Who wants a cool and yummy ice cream? <laughs> Me, please! Oh, hello there, Miffy. You're my first customer today. Uh, oops! That sounded like... Uh, <laughs> Hiccups. Exactly what I was going to say. Now, one ice cream for Miffy coming right uh, up. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, Snuffy! Oh, well. I guess that one was for Snuffy. Let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Miffy. That's okay, Boris. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go away, silly hiccups. I can't serve ice creams like this. I know. <laughs> I could help you, Boris. Oh, would you, Miffy? That would be <laughs> ever so kind. One ice cream for me, <laughs> coming up. Oh, there. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> no, Snuffy, you've had <laughs> enough. <laughs> you know, Boris, <laughs> I could look after your ice cream stall until your hiccups have gone. Really? <laughs> Thank you, Miffy. That would be a great... <laughs> Help. You sit down here and relax, <coughs> and I'll run the ice cream store. 
Mm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants some ice cream? Cool and yummy. Oh, me please, Miffy. One ice cream for Melanie coming right up. <gasps> huh? Hi, Boris. Hello, Melanie. <laughs> He's got hiccups. I'm helping him until they go. Thank you. Mm. I know how to cure your hiccups, Boris. <laughs> you have to stand on one leg. Like this? Whoa. Yes, good. And now, rub your tummy. That's it, Boris. <laughs> oh. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, it always works for me. It was worth a try. <laughs> Thanks anyway, Melanie. Bye. Bye, Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dan! <gasps> ah. <laughs> One ice cream all ready for Dan. Oh, wow! Thank you, Missy! Mmm, that looks good. I fancy an ice cream too. I think my hiccups have gone now. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Oh. There. Here you go. Thank you. Mmm, yum. Oh! oh. No! Oh, that way! Oh. Yes! No! Oh. oh! Oh, I know how to get rid of hiccups. You do? You do? Yes, you run backwards. What? Like this? That's it! You're doing it! Whoa. Come on, Boris! Keep going! Whoa. Oh dear. Up you get. <sighs> oh, that didn't work either. I'm going to hiccup forever and ever. Poor Boris. Hmm. <laughs> oh. If only I could stop uh, hiccuping for long enough uh, to have an ice cream. Oh. Don't worry, Boris. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh! Ice creams! Oh, Miffy, you gave me a bit of a shock there. <laughs> I'm looking after Boris's ice cream store. <laughs> <laughs> so I see. But where is Boris? He's got the hiccups. We can't get rid of them no matter what we try. Hmm. Well, have you tried? <laughs> One ice cream for Aunt Alice coming up. Oh, hello, Boris. Oh, I can't reach. Can you help me, Boris? Oh, yes. Could you? It's right at the bottom. <laughs> of course, Miffy. Speedy service, Boris. Miffy, what did you do that for? You gave me a fright. <laughs> no, I gave you a shock, just like Aunt Alice said. That's right. A big shock is good for getting rid of hiccups. Oh, no hiccups. No hiccups. No hiccups. <laughs> and that means... Oh, 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 yes. Ice cream. Mm. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Oh, Snuffy, you've eaten too much ice cream. Now you've got hiccups. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Snuffy. Uh, oh. oh, where are you? Is there anything wrong, Miffy? You look worried. Yes, I'm looking for Snuffy. I haven't seen her for ages. Well, Snuffy does come and go as she pleases, you know. But she's never been gone this long before. I'm worried she might be lost. Uh... <gasps> Is that Snuffy's born? Hi, Missy. I'm playing catch with Melanie. Want to join us? Oh, I remember now. Snuffy's ball is red, not blue. <sighs> <laughs> Are you OK? What is it? I haven't seen Snuffy for days. <gasps> oh, no! I think she's lost. Then we'll help you find her. Where might she be? 
I don't know. But with three of us looking, we can look three times faster. And in three times as many places. Come on, Snuffy! 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 Snuffy, Snuffy, she's not in the park. Snuffy, where are you? Please give us a bark. Snuffy! Oh. Snuffy, Snuffy, she's not by the pond. We haven't seen Snuffy for ever so long. Snuffy, we'll find you, we're not going to stop. Snuffy, Snuffy, she's not anywhere. Why can't we find her? It just isn't fair. Snuffy, Yay, Snuffy. Snuffy. I'm sorry we didn't find her, Miffy. I need to go home for lunch now. Aunt Poppy will be getting worried. Oh, it's lunchtime already. Thank you for looking so long. That's OK, Miffy. Snuffy's our friend too. Bye, Bye. Miffy. Bye. <sighs> Whatever's the matter, Miffy Bun? <sighs> I miss Snuffy. I looked for her all morning. Well, now you mention it, I haven't seen Snuffy for days. That is unusual. Oh, something might have happened to her. Where can she be? Oh, is that noise what I think it is? Look, it's Uncle Pilot. Come on. Oh, Uncle Pilot. <laughs> Hello, Miffy. Hello, Uncle Pilot. Well, that's not the welcome I'm used to. What's wrong, Miffy? It's Snuffy. She's gone missing. Then it's a good job I'm here, isn't it? I can help you look for her. I've already looked everywhere for her, Uncle Pilot. Ah, but have you been on a search and rescue mission in an aeroplane? No. <gasps> Can we? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you can see so much more from up in a plane. We can look in ten times as many places. And ten times as quickly. Bye. Good luck. Keep your eyes peeled, Miffy. Look out for any clues. Oh, look! It's Miffy! <laughs> Snuffy! Snuffy! Oh, Miffy! Hello, Miffy. <laughs> oh, there are so many different places to check. How about a closer look? Problem, Miffy. Down there. It's a ball, a red ball. Snuffy has one just like it. Hold on. It is Snuffy's ball. I'd know it anywhere. <laughs> Snuffy. 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 <gasps> oh, it's coming from over there. Open the door. Right, Miffy. Snuffy! Oh, Snuffy! Hello there. Can I help you with something? Poor Snuffy was trapped in your barn. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I had no idea she was inside when I shut the doors. It's all right. She's fine now. You need to be a bit more careful where you explore, Snuffy. <laughs> oh, I think I've been forgiven. But I'll be sure to keep this barn closed in future. <laughs> a successful search and rescue mission. Now, to get you home before your parents send someone out to find you. But I've only just found Snuffy. I'm not leaving her so soon. <laughs> Who said anything about leaving her? <laughs> Look, Uncle Pilot! Snuffy likes flying as much as I do! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Whee! 
Two strawberry pickers. We're pretending <laughs> to be snails. We found a real snail. I know. Let's call him Sammy. Well, that's a lovely name for a snail, Miffy, but I'm afraid Sammy can't stay here. Oh, why not? Because he's a snail, and snails eat plants. He could eat all of my strawberries. <gasps> oh, no! What if I move him away from the strawberries? Well, OK, but make sure you take him far away. I will. Hmm. There. Look, Sammy, you can have your very own tree. There. Bye, Sammy. I'll be back to see you later. Bye, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> there. My basket is all full up. Mine too. Wait till Mummy and Daddy see how many strawberries I've picked. Thanks, Poppy. Bye. Bye, bye, bye Miffy. Ha. Uh, Sammy, where are you? He's gone. Maybe he's round the other side. Good idea. Sammy, where are you? Ha. Sammy, there you are. He wants to come home with me. Off we go, Sammy. Are you sure that's a good idea, Miffy? Yes. Mummy always lets me bring friends home. <laughs> Mummy, Mummy, I picked all these strawberries. Mmm, lovely. And I have a new friend. Oh, a snail. Ugh. His name is Sammy. That's nice, Miffy. But you'll have to take him outside. Oh. Please, Miffy, go and put him in the garden. Then we can have strawberries for dinner. Mmm, strawberries. OK, mm. come on, Sammy. You can live out here, Sammy. Oh, thank you, Miffy. Now, shall we set the table? OK. One plate for Daddy, one plate for Mummy, one plate for me. <laughs> some strawberries for Daddy, some for Mummy and some for me. Oh, there's one left. So there is. I know. Sammy, I've got a strawberry for your dinner. Oh, Sammy, where have you gone? Hello, Miffy. Daddy. We're having strawberries for dinner. I picked them myself. Oh, I'm sure they'll be yummy then. Hmm, <laughs> these strawberries look and smell delicious. <laughs> <gasps> ah! oh! A snail. Ugh. It's Sammy. He wants to eat his dinner with us. I told you to take that snail outside, Miffy. But I did. He came back all by himself. Miffy. Oh, I'll take him outside again. Well, I don't want him coming back. He knows the way in now. Uh, I have an idea. You and me can find a nice place for Sammy to live. Good idea. And I'll stay right here. Ugh. <laughs> Come on, Miffy. Not so fast, Daddy. Snails like to go slowly. Oh! Okay, <laughs> then. Oh, this looks like a nice spot. I'm not sure. No, not here. Too many birds. <gasps> They'll eat Sammy. There. Whee! Oh. Whee! Coming through! <gasps> 
Miffy doesn't like it here either. He doesn't want to get squashed. Miffy, we, we can't walk around forever. Uh, what does Sammy like? Well, he likes plants with strawberries and leaves. And maybe plants with flowers too. I'm sure you'll be very happy here, Sammy. But I'll miss you. There we go. A present for Sammy? Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> He's made friends already. Look how hungry they are. Mm, I'm hungry too. Let's go home before Mummy eats all the strawberries, eh? Oh, do you think we should go slow like snails? No. <laughs> Let's go really, really fast. <laughs> oh, 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 right. Uh, wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miffy. What a lovely bicycle. Is it yours? Yes, it's brand new. <laughs> I got it for my birthday. It's even faster than my old scooter. <laughs> and faster than Snappy too. Really? I'd love to see that. <gasps> I'll show you. Miffy? I had to get my helmet first. Oh, good thinking. Come on, Snuffy. I'll race you. <laughs> Come on, slow coach. <laughs> bye bye, ducks. <sighs> Snuffy, wait for me. Going up hills is hard, but going down is easy. Let's go, Snuffy. Don't worry, Miffy. I'll go and fetch it for you. And we'll see what we can do to make your ear feel better. Come on, come with me. It's a good job you had your helmet on, or you could really have hurt yourself. But I did really hurt myself. There. How's that? Much better, thank you. I brought your bicycle. It's out in the garden. Thanks, Daddy. But I don't want to ride it anymore. Really, Miffy? Why not? I don't want to ever go cycling again. Well, um... When you have a fall, it's best to get straight back on yes. your bike. Mm. I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. <laughs> come on. Mm. <laughs> okay. That's the spirit. <laughs> you need to go a bit faster, Miffy. But I don't want to go too fast and get warm. <coughs> About this fast. <laughs> uh, oh, like this. Yes. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> Are you getting tired? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not tired at all. Uh, but I think you'll be uh, fine on your own now. Uh, you go with Snuffy, Miffy. Uh, uh, oh. Come on, 
Snuffy? <laughs> I'm not racing anymore, Snuffy. I don't want to fall off again. <sighs> Huh? Oh, no! It sounds like Snuffy needs help. You'd better get down there fast and find her. But I don't want to go too fast and fall off again. Oh. Just take it easy and keep your hands on the brakes. OK. a nasty thorn. I think you need a plaster, Snuffy. We'd better get you home as quick as we can. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Snuffy. I'll walk with you. Good girl, that's it. Come on. Good girl. Here you are, Miffy. There. How's that? <laughs> Look, we've both got plasters now. Aww. Oh, don't worry. It'll feel better soon. You must be hungry after all that cycling. Mm. How about a slice of cake left from your birthday? Yum! <laughs> oh, can Snuffy have a bit too? All right, just a little bit. Here, Snuffy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think Snuffy's all better now. <laughs> 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 Miss me! <laughs> Tag! Oh, your turn, Grunty. <laughs> Tag! N Nelly! Oh, you're too fast! Oh, slow down! Oh. <laughs> Miffy! Oh, you were close that time. <laughs> oh. I give up. Are you okay, Grunty? It's too sunny to run around today. Well, what would you like to play? Skipping? Hopping? That's even worse than running. Uh, I know. I've got the perfect thing. Come on, where are we going? You'll see. Are you all right in there, Miffy? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, try to find something. Uh -huh. uh. 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 What's that? A paddling pool. Whoa! Perfect for cooling down on a hot day. Good thinking, Miffy. Now, we just need to fill it up. OK, you point the hose at the pool and I'll turn on the tap. OK. Here comes the water. Ready, Miffy. Ah, thunder. Careful, Grunty. Run. It's OK, Hi. Grunty. It's only a summer thunderstorm. I don't care. It's scary. Thunder won't hurt you, Grunty. It's just... Noisy! Oh. <laughs> Wait for me! Grunty! Grunty! I'm down here. Oh, there you are. Are you scared of thunder, Miffy? Do you want to come in too? No, there's nothing to be scared of, Grunty. We're safe inside. Thunder's only noisy clouds. <laughs> noisy clouds? Why don't we play inside for a bit? We'll be too busy having fun to notice the silly old thunder. If you're sure. Of course I am. Come on, I'll find a game we can play. Four. One, two, three, four. This looks like fun. It is. My go. Yes! Ah! <sighs> Sorry, Miffy. Never mind. Sometimes 
something to eat calms me down. Thanks, Miffy. Ah! That was noisier than ever! Quick hide! <laughs> Grunty, you can't stay under the table all day. Yes, I can. The thunder won't get me down here. The thunder's not going to get you anyway, Grunty. It's just noisy. But it's so loud. Maybe. But I can be louder. Listen. Ah! Silly old thunder, I'm not scared of you. Silly old thunder, I can be noisy too. than the thunder. Told you! That rhyme is funny. Let's see it together next time the thunder comes. Okay. Here it comes. Ready? Silly old thunder, I'm not scared of you. Silly old thunder, I can be noisy too. Miffy, I think it heard us. We scared the thunder away. You're right, Grunty. We did. <laughs> Silly old thunder. You can't hurt me. Mm-hmm. Shall we go out and play in the paddling pool now? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> you turn the tap on and I'll point the hose. Okay. <gasps> Missy, come and look. The paddling ball has filled itself up. No, the thunderstorm filled it for us. Really? You see, thunderstorms can be good too. Thank you, Mr Thunderstorm. Thunder isn't anything to be scared of, Grunty. As long as you stay out of the rain. Yes, I wouldn't want to get wet. <laughs> oh, Grunty! <laughs> I love thunderstorms. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what a lovely shell, Miffy. Are you collecting them? No. Me and Dan are supposed to be having a ride in Boris's boat, but it's broken. <laughs> There's a hole in the bottom. Oh dear, that's not good for boats. No, but we're exploring while we wait. I hope Boris fixes it before Daddy comes to pick us up. Miffy, look what I found. Oh, what is it? It's a star. It must have fallen out of the sky. Look. It's all pointy. Wow. Hmm, are you sure it's a real star? It isn't twinkling like a star. That's because it's fallen down. We need to get it back in the sky so it can twinkle. But how do you get stars back into the sky? Maybe Boris will know. Oh, yes. One, two, Boris! Three, oh. come and see! Oh. <gasps> Sorry! Never mind, happens all the time. We've got something exciting to show you, Boris. Something exciting, eh? Lend me a hand here first, and then I'm all yours. Ow! Oh, oh no! Ah. Look! Are you all right, Boris? Oh, my fault. I should have looked at what I was doing. I'm sure he's nice and friendly when you get to know him. Mm, maybe. Now, let's get this boat fixed. A hammer here, a polished hair. You need it building, I'm your bear. I love to make things all day long. And sometimes Boris gets it wrong. Making things is so much fun. 
Come on, Boris, get it done. There, good as new. Yes. We just need to wait for everything to dry. Now, while we're waiting, can we show you what we found? Of course. Lead the way. <laughs> Come on, it's over here. <sighs> Boris, how do you get a star back into Whoa. the sky? Hey, oh, uh, I can't say I've ever thought about it. But if you had to. Hmm. A catapult, maybe? Or a really long ladder? Why do you ask? We found a fallen star. We want to get it back in the sky before night time. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, this isn't a star. It's a starfish. It doesn't look like a fish. There are lots of things that live in the sea that don't look like fish. Some of them look very funny indeed. So we don't need to get it back in the sky then? No, but you're right to think we should help get it home. You mean in the sea? Exactly. Good job our boat is fixed. Come on. <laughs> He's all tickly. We'll have him home soon enough. But how will we know where to put him? Oh, I know. We could try and find some other starfish. Good thinking, Dan. <laughs> if you still had a hole in your boat, we'd be able to see through the bottom. You're right. But if I still had a hole in my boat, we'd get rather wet. <laughs> Let's see what we can see in the sea. Look, fish! <gasps> Blue and yellow and silver. We can almost touch them. Careful, Dan. We don't want to scare them. What are they? They're all wobbly. Those are jellyfish. Starfish are called starfish because they look like stars. Jellyfish are called jellyfish because they look like jelly. <laughs> this one looks like a horse. Is it a horse fish? Close, Miffy. It's a seahorse. Giddy up, seahorse. You're right, Boris. There are lots of funny looking things under the sea. We've seen lots of creatures in the sea, but none that look like you. Hey, look! There! <gasps> lots of starfish! They must be his family! Then it's time to get him home. There you go. Bye, starfish. Bye-bye, starfish. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for helping us get our star home, Boris. Oh, that's OK. Speaking of home, it looks like Miffy's daddy is happy to see us. Hey! Actually, I think he just met your friend, the crab. Oh, help! He... help. <laughs> Don't worry, Daddy! Oh, get off! Oh, how? He's nice and friendly when you get to know him. <laughs> no, no, no! Oh, help! 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 <laughs> Thank you so much for saying you'll look after Bubbles, Missy. You're welcome, Dan. I love Bubbles. Hello, Bubbles. <laughs> he likes you too. I'll come and collect him tomorrow when I get back from my auntie's house. Oh, I nearly forgot. You need to sprinkle some food in his bowl every morning so he doesn't get hungry. <laughs> Don't worry, Dan. I'll be sure to keep him safe. Thank you, Missy. Bye. Bye, Bubbles. Bye, Dan. Wait here, Bubbles. I'll just put this inside. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. <gasps> Daddy! Da -dum -da -dum. Watch out! What? What is it? You nearly knocked over Bubbles. Oh, hello, little fellow. I didn't see you there. I'm not sure the doorstep is a very good place to leave a fish. I wasn't going to leave him there. <laughs> oh! <gasps> Phew! Hello, Miffy! <laughs> Grandma! 
Bugsy, you made me jump. Sorry. I'm going to the playground. Do you want to come? Yes, please. But I have to look after Bubbles for Dan. You can bring him with you. Good idea. I'll catch you up. OK. Hello, Miffy. Are you taking that goldfish for a walk? <laughs> don't be silly. You don't take fish for walks. This is Bubbles. I'm looking after him for Dan. <laughs> so where are you taking him? To the playground. I'm bringing him with me to make sure he stays safe. That's very thoughtful of you, Miffy. Just be careful with him. I will. Here. <coughs> Hi, Melanie. <coughs> Hi, Grunty. Hi, Miffy. <coughs> Miffy, catch. <gasps> oh, oops. Sorry, Miffy. It's all right, Grunty, but be careful of bubbles. I will. You should put him down somewhere out of the way. OK. If I put his ball all the way over here, we won't kick it by accident. Come on, Miffy. Let's see how high we can throw the ball. Here. <laughs> 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 oh, got it. <laughs> Higher. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Even higher! <laughs> oh. oh, miss! <gasps> Bubbles! Sorry, Miffy. That was my fault. Maybe the playground isn't the safest place for a goldfish after all. You're right, Grunty. I'd better take him home. Bye! Bye, Bye Miffy! <gasps> no, Snuffy. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> oh, all right. Just one throw. <laughs> there. <laughs> careful, Snuffy. <laughs> Sorry, Snuffy. Looking after a fish is harder than I thought. <gasps> Miffy. Hmm. Miffy. Oh, Miffy Bun, did you not hear me calling? Dinner's ready. Sorry, Mummy, but I don't want to let go of Bubbles. Every time I do, something terrible nearly happens. Oh. <laughs> the only way I can be sure Bubbles is safe is to not put him down till morning. Hmm, so does Dan hold Bubbles all the time to keep him safe? Um, he keeps Bubbles on a shelf in his bedroom. <gasps> We can do the same. Here you go. He'll be nice and safe there. Thank you, Mummy. You're welcome. Now come and have some dinner. Uh, mm. It's your favourite. <gasps> Carrot stew! Yay! <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. The end. Mm. Night, night, Miffy. What about Bubbles, Daddy? Oh, uh, mwah. night, night, Bubbles. <laughs> night, night, Daddy. <laughs> there you are, Bubbles. There. Did you enjoy looking after Bubbles, Miffy? Sort of, but I'll be glad when Bubbles is back at Dan's house. Oh. Morning, Miffy. How's Bubbles? Hi, Dan. He's fine. I'll just get him. Here he is. Oh, hello, Bubbles. I knew you'd do a great job, Miffy. I told everybody what a great pet sitter you are. Everybody? Hello, Miffy. Dan said you'd be the perfect person to look after my pet, Lightning. <gasps> just for one night. Lightning? I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Go on, then. Thanks, Miffy. See you tomorrow. Bye, Boris. Bye. Bye, Dan. Bye, Bubbles. Miffy, are you going to take Lightning for a walk, too? <laughs> no. I've got the perfect bedside table to keep him on. I think that's probably best. <laughs> I'm home. I'm in the kitchen, Miffy, dear. We have a visitor. Ooh! Oh, yes. 
That is interesting. It's Uncle Pilot! Hello, Uncle Pilot. Hello, Miffy. I've just popped in for a cup of tea. This is Prissy. What is it? It's one of your Uncle Pilot's maps. Ooh. He was just showing it to me. Maps like this one help me find my way when I'm flying my plane. Ooh. All of these maps are of different places your Uncle Pilot has been. Wow! I'd love to have a map of where I've been. Well, then you should make one, Miffy. <gasps> Can I, Mummy? What a good idea. <laughs> I've got a big sketch pad somewhere. Come on then, Miffy. Bring it back when you're finished. I can't wait to see it. Here you are. Oh, thanks, Mummy. Hmm. Uh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, Miffy. Thank you. You know, Miffy, sometimes maps like this can be treasure maps. <gasps> treasure maps? Yes, and I've hidden a very valuable treasure, and you can use your map to find it. Wow! Uh, may I? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There we are. And if you follow my trail, you'll find my treasure. Oh! <laughs> Happy treasure hunting, Miffy. Uh, oh. Is something wrong, Miffy? Uncle Pilot said I could use my map to follow his trail and find his treasure. But I don't know what he means. Hmm. Where do you think Uncle Pilot would start his trail? Hmm. Well, he was in my house when he said it. Hmm. And that red circle is just next to my house. Hmm. <gasps> of course! This red circle on my map must be this red balloon. Uncle Pilot left me a trail of balloons to follow. Um. So, what are you looking for, Miffy? The next balloon. But. I can't see it anywhere. Well, the red circle was on your map. Hmm. Oh, yes. The yellow circle is the next closest. It's at the playground. This way. <sighs> right. Mm. There it is, the yellow balloon. <sighs> It's a good job you've got a map to follow. I don't think you'll be seeing that balloon again. <laughs> You're right. Not unless I can fly. Mm, the last balloon is near the farm. That's really close. Mm, nothing here. Or here. Excuse me, Mrs Cow. Have you seen a blue balloon? <coughs> I think that's a no. <clears throat> What's wrong, Miffy? I can't find the last balloon. I think I must have gone wrong. Oh, you were doing so well. Maybe have another look at the map? Mm. Hmm. Oh, the blue circle isn't right next to the farm. It's just past it. So... Maybe the blue balloon is just past the farm too. Good thing I've got my treasure map. <coughs> Here it is, the last balloon. Oh, well done, Miffy. You followed my trail and found my treasure. Where is it? 
What's your treasure? <laughs> My plane, of <gasps> course. She's the most precious thing I own. Would you like to take a little trip with me? Oh, yes, please. Hold on tight, and here we go. Wow! The whole village looks like a map from up here. Hello, Mummy! Oh. Take care up there, Miffy. Your eyes open, Miffy. You never know when you'll find more treasure. Oh, you were right, Uncle Pilot. <laughs> I can't wait to get to Grandma and Grandpa's house, Daddy. Are you sure you'll be all right without Mummy and me there? I'll be fine. I always have fun with Grandma and Grandpa. <gasps> we're here, we're here. Hello, Miffy. Oh, mind my eggs. Hello, Dad. What are you up to? Well, I was going to plant these eggs in the garden. I'm hoping to grow a chicken. <laughs> Grandpa, you don't plant eggs. You eat them. Oh, is that so? Oh, well, in that case, I better put them back in the fridge. Come on, then. <laughs> Honestly, your grandpa's stories get sillier and sillier. Grandma! Miffy, my dear. <sighs> Hello, son. Hello, Mum. <clears throat> I can't stop, sorry. Uh, I'll pick you up tomorrow, Miffy. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Have a nice time at the theatre. I'll go and get dinner ready. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's pop this in the spare room. <clears throat> Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> what have you got in there? The kitchen sink? No. <gasps> <gasps> Careful, Grandpa. Oh, well caught, Miffy. Hey, I wouldn't want to break that. It belonged to a Chinese emperor. It's over a thousand years old. Wow. A thousand years old? Yes. Don't you listen to him. He's got more stories than a library. <laughs> Oh, here we are. You know, this was in my bedroom when I was a little bunny. Wow! It must be very old, then. Oh, <laughs> you cheeky bunny. It is older than me, though. So old, in fact, I used to think it might be haunted. <gasps> you mean... A ghost might live inside. What? Oh, oh, no, Miffy, no. I was only joking. There aren't ghosts in there. No, no, there's no such thing. Hello, Mr. Ghosty. Come out wherever you are. <laughs> yeah, see, no ghosts. Phew. Can you come and help me lay the table, love? Oh, uh, be right there. Pop your things in the wardrobe and then it'll be time for dinner. Mm, okay. <gasps> Aren't you going to unpack, Miffy? Um, I don't think I want to. But your grandpa's right, Miffy. There's no such thing as ghosts. The wardrobe's empty. But the ghost might be hiding. Miffy! Dinner's ready. Coming! Mmm. Oh, that was delicious, Grandma. Thank you. Yummy. Thanks, Grandma. You're welcome. Gosh, is that the time? You'd better get ready for bed, Miffy. Um, OK. Will you come with me, Grandma? You don't need me, Miffy. You're big enough to go on your own. Please, Grandma. <laughs> All right, then. Thanks. Are you feeling all right, Miffy? I'm fine. Mm. Grandma, can I sleep in your bedroom tonight? Don't be silly, Miffy. You've got a bedroom all to yourself. Mm. What's up, Miffy Bun? Well, um, Grandpa said there might be a ghost living in the wardrobe. Did he now? Honestly, your grandpa and his stories 
You know there's no such thing as ghosts, Miffy. Yes, but what if there is? There isn't. I promise. You know, I think it's time we teach Grandpa a lesson about his tall tales. Will you help me? OK. Then here's what we'll do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grandpa! Are you going to kiss Miffy goodnight? Coming! <laughs> uh, oh, where is she? Your ghost story scared her so much, she's hiding under the covers. Oh dear, but I was only teasing. I told you, Miffy, there's no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> a ghost! A ghost! <laughs> <laughs> it's only me, Grandpa. There's no such thing as ghosts, remember? <laughs> Fooled you. <laughs> well, I suppose that serves me right for telling silly stories. Exactly. So no more stories then? Well, maybe just one. Grandpa? Yeah, from in here. A nice bedtime story. Oh. Now, what sort of story would you like, Miffy? I don't mind, as long as there are no ghosts in it. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a big red apple in the green grass on the ground. Oh, I love this one. The apple wept because he was just an apple, rosy and round. <laughs> What a colourful bush you found, Miffy. Yes, the flowers are lovely. Mm. Do they smell as good as they look? Mm -hmm. They smell like... Like summer. <gasps> oh my, I didn't know flowers had wings. <laughs> Don't be silly. It's not a flower, it's a butterfly. So it is. How pretty. Achoo! Oops. Sorry, butterfly. <gasps> Wait, come back. <laughs> butterfly fluttering up in the sky. Butterfly fluttering ever so high. Butterfly fluttering ever so near. Butterfly fluttering. Come back here. <laughs> <sighs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh. Phew. Oh. <laughs> I wish I had your energy, Miffy. <laughs> oh. Hello, Snuffy. I'm trying to catch this butterfly. Will you help me? We have to fly after it. Flap, flap. <laughs> flap, flap, flap. <laughs> You're the prettiest butterfly I've ever seen, Miffy. Flap, flap, flap. <laughs> oh. oh. Calm down, butterfly. You're too high. Oh. <laughs> Look, Snuffy. The butterfly found a friend. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it looks like I found a friend too, Snuffy. <laughs> sorry I bumped into you. I was chasing a butterfly. Me too. A yellow one. I was chasing a red one. They're so pretty. I know. <laughs> They're off again. Quick! <laughs> <laughs> Butterflies fluttering up in the sky. Butterflies fluttering ever so high. Butterflies fluttering yellow and red. Butterflies fluttering over my head. <laughs> Come on! 
butterfly fluttering <laughs> round the sun. Butterflies fluttering, chasing his fun. <laughs> Butterflies fluttering, fluttering free. <laughs> Butterflies flutter for Miffy and me. <laughs> Hold on, Melanie. Let's sneak up. Good idea, Miffy. Oh, Snuffy. Quick, there they go. Wait for us, butterflies. <laughs> I think Daddy needed a rest. So did the butterflies. Look! What's that? Oh! Daddy! I nearly caught my butterfly, and now you've scared it off forever. Oh, I wondered what that was on my nose. Oh, we've been chasing those butterflies for ages. Oh, I'm sorry, girls, but you shouldn't really try to catch them. They're very delicate, you know. Oh, but they're such fun to chase. Oh, I never said you shouldn't chase them. Just don't catch them. You wouldn't want to hurt them, would you? No. But I can't chase my butterfly now anyway. It's gone. Well, where did you see it first, Miffy? Uh, over there. Well, maybe it's gone back there. Oh, yes. Good idea. Come on. <laughs> it was on the bush with the pretty flowers. Butterflies do like flowers. You can't make any noise if you want to get close to butterflies. Where exactly did you see it? I was smelling a flower like this. Huh? Uh, you? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said we had to be very quiet. <laughs> Sometimes being very noisy can work too. Aren't they beautiful? Like flying flowers. Oh, yes. Yes, just like <laughs> flying flowers. Aren't they pretty? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Miffy. I don't think I've ever seen you run that fast. I don't want to be late. It's our school trip today. The whole class is going to the farm. <laughs> I can't wait. Are you excited? Oh, yes. I am. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi Lizzie. Lizzie. All ready for the school trip? Oh, yes. I hope we see a horse. They're my favourite. Oh, yes. The horses. I can't wait to see them. I want to see the ducks. Quack, quack. Oh, quack, I really like elephants. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> I don't think there will be any elephants, Quinty. It's a farm, not a zoo. Oh, well, I like goats too. <laughs> no, no, no need to go inside. We're getting straight on the bus. Now, has everyone got a partner? You can be my trip partner, Miffy. OK. Come on, Grunty. <laughs> OK. Good. Look after each other. I don't want anyone getting lost or left behind. Come Let's on. Let's go. Where are you going oh, to sit? Come on, sit with me. We're on the bus, driving fast, watching things go whizzing past. There goes a tree. A funny cloud. Look. And there's a puppy reading a book. We're on the bus, zooming along, watching the world and singing a song. Look at that bush. Look for its bear. Why are we stopping? Because we're there. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. Hello, Hello Mr. Farmer. Farmer. Welcome to my farm. 
Right, everybody. I've got a challenge for you. I want you to find out what each of the animals like to eat. Oh, goody. Great. Now, you're free to go and look at all my animals, but do be careful. Farmyards are busy places. Okay, yes. Okay. Let's go and see the ducks. <laughs> oh, let's start with the horses. They're my favourite. Uh, no. Let's start with the chickens. They're closer. This way. Oh, OK. <laughs> Look how fast they pack up the corn. Oh, chickens eat corn. We must remember to tell teacher. We can see the horses now, Melanie. Uh, sheep first, then the horses. But Melanie, I want to see... Come on, Miffy. <sighs> Pondry. <laughs> We're off to see the sheep. Say bye to them from us. We will. I'm glad I'm not a duck. My friend Dan says bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, sheep eat grass. Right, cows next. But Melanie, you said we could see the horses next. No, cows first. Then horses. That's what you said last time, Melanie. <sighs> <laughs> this goat is hungry. <laughs> hey, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Can't stop. We're off to see the cows. And then the horses. Hopefully. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so, chicks eat corn, sheep eat grass, and cows eat hay. Perfect. Now let's go and find out what horses eat. No, I want to stay here and see the cows get milk. But that's not fair. We've seen everything you wanted. If we don't go and see the horses now, we won't have time. <laughs> Look, Melanie! Look. We're going to see a horse after all. That's right. I'm just taking Buttercup here back to her paddock. Do you want to give her a stroke? <gasps> no! Keep her back! Ah, now I reckon someone might be a little bit scared of horses. Melanie, I thought you were being bossy, but you were just feeling scared. There's nothing to be scared of, Melanie. Look. See? Now you try. Mm. Uh. Oh. Oh. <gasps> I'm doing it. Hello, Buttercup. Why don't you help me lead her back to the paddock? Um, come on, Melanie. This will be fun. OK. Come on. This way. That's it. And and ducks eat pondweed, and then we saw the goats, and the goats like eating well everything really. Well done, Grunty and Dan. Uh, hello, everybody. This is my new friend, Buttercup. Horses are my favourite animal. Mine too. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll have found out what they like to eat then. Oh, I don't know. We haven't seen Buttercup eat anything uh, yet. Oh. <gasps> My carrot! Oh. Oh. <laughs> carrot! <laughs> horses like carrots. <laughs> hey, get your own lunch, horsey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miffy. What have you got there? A picnic blanket. See? I'm going on a picnic with Dan. That must be him now. It's very early. Hi, Dan. Hi, Missy. Are you ready for the picnic? I brought the picnic basket. And Mum is making the sandwiches. But they're not ready yet. Ah, oh, OK. What should we do until they are? Hmm. I know. We can put on a play for Mummy and Daddy. That's a great idea. Come on. <laughs> right. Uh, oh. We can be Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. 
We already have a picnic basket for Red Riding Hood to take to her grandmother. Oh, you can wear this as Red Riding Hood. <laughs> and you can be the big bad wolf. Yes, I'd love to be a wolf. <laughs> You'll be a brilliant wolf. But we need to practice the words too. Words? What words? Can't I just growl? <laughs> In the story, the wolf pretends to be grandmother. Remember? Oh, yes. Red Riding Hood says, What big eyes you have. <laughs> and the wolf says, uh, All the better to see you with. Do we have to do the words? That's the best part of the story. When the wolf says, uh, All the better to eat you with. But what if I don't remember what to say when people are watching me? Mm. You can have a costume, so you'll feel more like the wolf. And forget all about the people watching. OK. <laughs> Mummy? Oh, hello. Me and Dan are doing a play about Little Red Riding Hood. Do you have something we can use as a wolf costume? Hmm. How about my old brown coat? That sounds great. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to see your play. Thanks, Mummy. Let's go and get your costume. OK. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I really feel like a big bad wolf now. <laughs> Mummy's coat is a perfect wolf costume. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's try it with the words. Oh, Grandmother, what big eyes you have. All the better to smell you with. <laughs> oh no, that's not right. Don't worry, just try again. What big eyes you have. All the better to see you with. That's it. You're a great wolf. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. Special seats and everything. Oh. <laughs> Please take your seats. The show is about to begin. <laughs> All the better to see you with. All the better to see you with. What if I forget my words while your mummy and daddy are watching? Just take a deep breath. <gasps> and pretend no one's watching. <sighs> OK. <laughs> Shh, it's starting. I am Little Red Riding Hood. And I'm the wolf. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Where are you going, little girl? I'm taking this picnic to my grandmother. <laughs> I'll get to her grandmother's house first. And take that picnic basket. Oh, Missy! Yes? We don't have anyone to be grandmother. Oh, no! I'll do it. Thanks, Mummy. I'm Red Riding Hood's grandmother. Oh, a wolf. Oh, no. Run. Oh. <laughs> Run. Ow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Grandmother. Where are you? Hello, Red Riding Hood. Here I am. My, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with. Yes. And what big teeth you have. All the better to eat <gasps> you with. I know, a wolf. Oh, oh no. no. Run, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, we don't have anyone to be the woodcutter who says Red Riding Hood. I'll be the woodcutter. Uh, don't worry, Red Riding Hood. I'll save you. Be gone, wolf. <laughs> Thank you, Woodcutter. You saved me. The end. Oh, well done. What a lovely play. <laughs> well done, you two. Dan, you were great. Did you do what I said and pretend no one was watching? I didn't have to. No one was watching. Everyone was in the play. 
You're right. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what time it is now? Picnic time! And I'm as hungry as a wolf. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, Sleepy Bear. It's morning. Time to brush your hair. Did you have nice dreams? Oh. Bear, was that you? Hmm? <gasps> oh! <laughs> sheep! There are sheep outside. <laughs> oh, this way. Come on, oh. sheep. <laughs> Come back. I think Mummy and Daddy need some help. Uh, 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 oh, 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 oh. Come on. Oh, oh. Ah. Okay. <laughs> We've got it. Careful. <laughs> oh. Morning, Mummy. Morning, Daddy. Have you got us some sheep? No, they were here when we woke up. They must have escaped from the farm. This one's sweet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's have another go at rounding them up. Okay. Nearly there. <laughs> Nearly. We did it! Well, thanks to you, Miffy. You two keep them here. I'll go and call the farmer to come and collect them. Okay. Don't bother. <laughs> Don't worry, Daddy. I'll get him back. I'll keep an eye on these two. <coughs> Bye <By> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lily. Come back, lamb. Don't you run so fast. Come back, lamb. And I'll catch up at last. Please don't run away. I only want to play with you. Come back, lamb. I need to stop and rest. <sighs> well, come here, lamb. Come back, lamb. Don't be such a tease. Come back, lamb. Let me catch you, please. Please don't go so far. What a naughty lamb you are. Oh, come back, lamb. Or slow down at least. Hmm. Here you go. Come on. Oh! Oh! Snuffy! You shouldn't bark at new friends. Oh! Hey, little lamb. Come and meet my friend Snuffy. Come on. Oh, Snuffy! Is something wrong, Miffy? I need to get this lamb back home. But Snuffy's barking keeps scaring it away. <laughs> hmm. So when Snuffy barks, the lamb runs in the other direction. Yes! <gasps> oh! So, if Snuffy barks over there, the lamb will run back this way. Snuffy, go to the other side. Perhaps you can make it easier for her to understand what you want. Uh, oh, maybe if I show you what I want. Like this, Snuffy. Follow me. <laughs> Girl, Snuffy. Now! <laughs> Come on, Snuffy! <laughs> That's two of my sheep. Oh. That's it, Snuffy! Oh, well done, Miffy! You should thank Snuffy. She got the lamb to move the right way. <laughs> So Snuffy's a sheepdog, is she? In that case... <gasps> a whistle? What's that for? If you're a patient, you can train Snuffy with it. Let me show you. Hmm, very good. 
Good girl, Snuffy. <laughs> That's it, Miffy. Oh, look at her go. Miffy, well done. Bye. 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 Good luck. That's it. <laughs> She's so clever. Come on, Snuffy. We'll have them back at the farm in no time. <laughs> well, that explains that. I must have left the gate open when I fed them this morning. Don't worry, Snappy knows what to do. <laughs> Good girl, Snuffy. Well done. There. Here's your whistle back. Why don't you keep it, Biffy? You and Snuffy make a good team. We do, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Miffy. Shh. I'm playing hide and seek with Melanie and Grunty. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Coming, ready or not. <gasps> oh, Grunty. You're supposed to hide when we're playing hide and seek. I was going to hide behind that bush, but Miffy got there first. Aha. Found you, Miffy. Oh, Grunty. <laughs> you're not supposed to tell her where I am. OK, your turn to seek, Miffy. And my turn to hide behind that bush. You shouldn't tell everyone where you're going to hide. It makes the game too easy. OK. I'll, um, hide somewhere else then. One, two, uh, three, four, <laughs> five. Ready or not? <laughs> Found you, Grunty. Oh, I'm rubbish at hide and seek. I'll give you one more chance, but don't tell me where you're going to hide this time. Thanks, Miffy. I'm going to find the best hiding place ever. <laughs> one. <laughs> She'll never find us this time. Two. This bush is perfect. Three. Oh, no, this one. Four. And uh, this one. Five. Coming. Ready or not. Oh. Uh. Oh, Grunty. I'll give her more time to hide. I'm coming to find you, Melanie. <laughs> Melanie, Melanie, where can she be? Behind a bush or up a tree? <gasps> Hmm. Huh? <laughs> no. This one. No. There you are, Grunty. Hmm? You said you'd come to Barbara's shop with me. Sorry, I forgot. You'd better tell your friends you can't play anymore then. Come on. I have to go with Aunt Puppy now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Found you, Melanie. Let's find Grunty. I wonder where she could be hiding. Uh, not here. Grunty, Grunty, where can she be? Behind a bush or up a tree? <gasps> Found you. you! Oh, she's not here. But she was. Look. Then where can she be? We've looked behind all the trees and the bushes. Well, Grunty did say she was going to find the best hiding place ever. We give up, Grunty. You can come out now. Hmm. <gasps> I've got an idea. Just copy what I do. Oh, thank you, Aunt Alice. <laughs> what a lovely fruit smoothie you made us. Well, it's delicious, isn't huh? it, Melanie? Oh. Oh, yes, 
It's delicious. I do hope there's some left for Grunty. <laughs> she won't be able to resist a fruit smoothie. There. Now we've got you, Grunty. <laughs> oh, it's just Snuffy. <laughs> oh, maybe Snuffy knows where Grunty's hiding. Oh, yes. Go on then, Snuffy. Off you go. <laughs> just brought us here to get this frisbee for her. <laughs> Snuffy can always snip out a toy to play with. Oh, that's given me an idea. Here, Snuffy, find Grunty. Come on, that way. <laughs> She can't have come this far. <laughs> Snappy won't let us down. Come on. <sighs> oh no. <laughs> Snuffy's brought us to Barbara's shop. She probably just wants us to buy her a treat. Granty can't have come this far to hide. Where can she be? Granty! <laughs> You're not supposed to go this far to hide. Huh? But I'd stop playing. I had to come and help Poppy with the shopping. I shouted to tell you. <laughs> we didn't hear you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no wonder we couldn't find you. <laughs> we looked everywhere. Um, does this mean I'm the hide and seek champion then? Uh, <laughs> Snuffy's a winner. She found you hiding all the way out here. And I know what her prize is. Frisbee! Here you go, Snuffy. <laughs> and there. Hello, Miffy. What are you painting? It's a picture of my house. Look! That's very good, Miffy. <laughs> hmm? What was that? I heard a drip. Is paint dripping off your paintbrush, maybe? <gasps> No. Phew. There it is again. Hmm. Uh, it's not raining. <gasps> it's coming from inside. Uh, hmm. Oh, what is that dripping sound? I think it's coming from in here. Aha! Found it! Someone didn't turn the tap off properly. <laughs> what are you doing, Miffy? Trying to turn the tap off. <sighs> oh! It won't stop dripping. Let me have a go. <laughs> there, that should do it. Oh! <laughs> it's still dripping, Daddy. Hmm. Right. Now, if that doesn't work. It isn't stopping. Oh, no. This is more serious than I thought. I'll get my toolbox. Have you fixed a dripping tap before, Daddy? No, but it can't be that hard. It's only a tap. Now then, uh, a hammer, maybe? No, a, a spanner or a wrench. Um... um, maybe you should ask someone to help, if you're not sure. Well, you can help if you like. You can be my plumber's mate. What's that? You hand me the tools when I ask for them. Oh, OK. Spanner, please. Um, this one? <laughs> no, that's my hammer. The spanner looks like a big metal bone. Um, huh, here's the spanner. 
here. <laughs> Nearly. A little harder. Oh! Oops. Daddy! Oh. Is that oh, the time? <gasps> oh. Oh, um, goodness uh, me! Uh, What's going uh, on? There was a drip, and Daddy tried to fix it. Did he? Um, dear. And now there's a flood. Well, I can fix that too. I think we've had enough of your fixing for one day. Oh. Miffy, would you empty it in the garden? Okay. Oh, the, the sink's filling up fast, Miffy. Oh. oh, we can't do this forever. Boris is good at fixing things. What? He could help. Boris? What a great idea, Miffy. You and Daddy keep emptying the water and I'll give Boris a call. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. ah, whoops! Oh, hello? Boris! We've got a real emergency. Our sink is spraying water everywhere. I'm on my way. I won't stop for anything. Bye! Well, maybe my tools. <laughs> I hope Boris gets here soon. He said on the phone that he'd be as fast as he could. Hello? Where are you? In the kitchen, Boris. Oh, phew. I haven't run that fast in a while. Uh, it's over here. Can you fix it? I'll certainly give it a try. The most important thing oh, uh, is to turn the water off. Oh, right, yes. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, if I just... Uh, very stiff. Oh, I can't quite manage it. Oh. Ah, uh, let me have a go. <laughs> oh, here, Boris. Will this help? Huh? Oh, yes. A spanner is just what I need. Thank you, Miffy. <laughs> Yay! Boris, you did it. <laughs> we did it, Miffy. Getting the tap back on will be easy now. I was just about to suggest trying that myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daddy. I was. <sighs> Good as new. <gasps> no drip. It didn't drip. You fixed that too, Boris. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Here, Boris, you can have this for mending our drip. Thank you, Miffy. It's lovely. I'll be on my way then. Next time you've got an emergency, you know who to call. <laughs> Bye. Honestly. What's that? I heard a squeak. A squeaky door, you say? Ah, I'll get my toolbox. Ah, mm. hammer. Oh, not again. Boris, come back, yes. Boris. Yes, Boris. Well, really. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, Daddy, let's go. <laughs> we'll have more fun on our picnic than Mummy and Poppy will shopping. Uh, hold tight, girls. Thunder? No, it's the car. Uh-oh. Well, we can't drive to the countryside in a broken car. I'll have to take it to Boris so he can fix it. Oh, does that mean no picnic? Oh, I'm afraid so, girls. <gasps> Look! Tumble pilot Jane! Oh, what a stroke of luck! <laughs> hey! Hey, down here! Oh, oh, hello! Yeah. <laughs> no problem. I'll keep an eye on Miffy and Grunty till you get back. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, bye, girls. Uh, I'll be as fast as I can. Bye, Daddy. Bye-bye. <sighs> I was looking forward to the picnic. Don't be sad, Miffy. We don't need a car to go on a picnic trip. <gasps> you mean we can go in your aeroplane? <gasps> it's not big enough for all of us. But I've got something in my plane that might help. Come on. <gasps> These boxes aren't very heavy, Uncle Pilot. What's inside? Take a look and see. Hmm. Oh, more boxes. How are all these boxes going to help us go on a picnic trip? 
<laughs> You'll see. Now, I need a chair and a big wooden spoon. Oh, coming right up. Ah. Oh, I hope this one's big enough. How clever! <laughs> ah, excellent! Just what I asked for. Now, uh, put the chair there. <laughs> so, who's coming for a trip? My real plane isn't big enough for all of us, so we'll take my imaginary plane instead. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we're going in a plane after all! Hooray! I can't wait to take off. <laughs> Stop! We can't take off yet. We nearly left the picnic behind. Now, is everyone ready to go? Ready! Seatbelts on, girls. I want to hear them click. Click! Engines on. Uh, oh, that's funny. I can't hear them. Brum! Brum! Brum, brum, brum! This is your pilot speaking. We're moving down the runway. Ready for takeoff? Up, up, and away! We're flying! We're flying! Oh, smooth takeoff, girls! But, oh no! There's a storm ahead! Oh no! Hold tight! Whoa! Oh, we made it! We're now flying above the clouds. Uncle Pilot, you should be flying the plane. Well, that's the best thing about imaginary planes. They're really easy to fly. Who wants to go? Me! Oh, unless you want to go, Grunty. You go first. I'm enjoying the view. All right, then. You can fly on the way home. Oh, oh, back in a moment. Keep her steady. I will. <laughs> Hold on tight, Runty. <laughs> Don't turn too fast. We'll lose our lunch. Sorry, Grunty. Now look over here. <gasps> You're headed out to sea. Oh, look at the sea. It's so big. I'm hungry. Can we land soon? Find us a nice island for our picnic, Pilot Miffy. Uh, that one. Sofa Island. Taking us down. Whoa! Whoa! Bump, 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 bump. <sighs> there. Nice landing, Miffy. Now let's eat. Yeah. Hmm. Sofa Island is very comfy. Let's have our picnic now. Yummy. Ha <laughs> Not so fast. <gasps> A pirate. I be the dreaded Uncle Pirate. Come to capture your picnic treasure. <gasps> Run! This way. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 <sighs> oh, I'm back. The car's fixed and we're good to Keep go. Keep away from our picnic. What on earth is going on? He was Uncle Pirate. I mean, <laughs> Uncle Pilot. He built us a plane. And we flew to Sofa Island for our picnic. But we were attacked by pirates. Oh, I've only one thing to say to that. Beware of Pirate <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> <Grr. It's okay. laughs> I'm to fly. Run, Grunty, run! <laughs> <laughs> Faster, Pirate Daddy! They be getting away! <laughs> Shiver me timbers! <laughs> so long, Pirate! <laughs> Hi, Miffy. Where are you going? Hi, Granty. I'm off to the library. Oh, can I come? I'm hungry. <laughs> Granty, there's no food at the library. No. But I can get a book about making cake. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> Come on then. Hello, Aunt Alice. Oh. What are you doing in the library? Hello, dear. I'm helping out today. I'm being a librarian. Oh! I'm here to return my book. Thank you. 
Oh, hello, girls. Hello, hello Boris. Boris. I'll have these, please, Alice. Yes, of course. <laughs> Ooh. Can I be a librarian too? And me? Of course. Always happy to have some help. <laughs> ah. My turn. Ah. <laughs> well and truly stamped. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye, Bye Boris. Boris. Is one of these books about cake? Oh, no, Grunty. Mm. But I'm sure I can find you one. Yes. And what are you looking for, Miffy? A book about tennis, please. Well, I need to take these back to the children's shelves. Come with me and we can find your books at the same time. <gasps> Yay! Hello, Alice. Hello, girls. Hello, Hello Miss. Miss. Hold on a moment, girls. I'd better go and stamp your teacher's books. Hmm. <gasps> Why don't we take these books back for you, Aunt Alice? Oh, oh. oh, that would be very helpful. OK. Oh, but where do they go? Oh, it's uh, simple. The covers will show you where to put them. <laughs> what a lot of books you have. Huh? I never have time to read myself. Right. Aunt Alice said the covers would show us where to put them. This one's about looking at the stars. Hmm. That means it goes up high, like the stars. There. Mm. There you go. There. Now let's do another. Uh. This one's about flowers. Look. Oh. The flower book must go next to that flower. Yes. Or next to that one. Oh. Uh. Hmm. I know. Next to both flowers. So it must be right. What's the next book, Grunty? It's about swimming. But there's no swimming pool in the library. No, but there is water. <gasps> Grunty, wait! We can't put the book in the fish tank. Your aunt said the cover would tell us where to put it. That's true. And the cover is about swimming. Oh, wait! You can't put a book in there. But you said the cover would tell us where to put it. It's about swimming, so it goes in the water. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, girls. I should have explained better. I meant the colour of the cover would tell you where to put it. Oh! You see, books with the same coloured spines are about the same sort of things. So they belong on the same shelves. So this red book goes with the other red books. That's right. All the red books are about sport. OK, then let's put all the books back in the right places. Oh, you missed one. Wait for me. Putting, putting books on the shelf. Helping, helping, we love to help. These ones are green. These ones are red. Not in the fish tank or they'll get wet. Putting, putting books on the shelf. Helping, helping, we love to help. Lovely. Everything back where it belongs. Thank you, girls. Oh, Aunt Alice. Now I know where to find my book about tennis. Here it is on the red shelf with the books about sport. And Grunty's cake book is down here with the other books about hobbies. Well done. Let's take them to the desk and I'll stamp them for you. I don't know where this book goes. The cover's white, but none of the other books are white. No, oh, it doesn't go on any of the shelves, Grunty. In fact, it's not even a book. No. What is it then? <laughs> well, it's something I was saving for when my work was done. And thanks to you girls, that's right now. Look! <gasps> a 
It's a box of chocolates! Hooray! Here you are. Oh, yum. Thanks, Thank Aunt Alice. It's fun being a librarians. Librarians! <laughs> yes! Those! <laughs> <laughs> That was close, but you need to get the hoop over the peg to win a prize. Have another try. Mm. Ah. Yes! Oh, 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 hoopla! I did it! I did it! You did! And here's your prize. Thanks, Aunt Alice. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> nice balloon, Miffy. Thanks, Boris. I just won it. I might try and win one too. Oh, no, you don't. You promised me a bun from Poppy's refreshment store. <laughs> oh, so I did. The balloon will have to wait. You coming, Miffy? Yes. I said I'd meet Mummy there. <laughs> Look, Mummy. I won a balloon. Oh, well done, Miffy. Come on, I'm feeling peckish. Bye. Bye, Bye Miffy. Miffy. Let's have a little sit down. I don't need a little sit down, Mummy. I've got loads of energy. <laughs> Can I go and tell Poppy what you'd like to eat? That would be very helpful, Miffy. I'd like a lettuce sandwich, please. OK. Hello, Poppy. Oh, hello, Miffy. Isn't the fate busy? So many customers. How can I help you? Mummy would like a lettuce sandwich, please. Right you are, Miffy. But it'll take a while. I'm way behind. I haven't even taken the orders from the other tables yet. I can do that if you like. Would you? That would be a great help. Of course. It will be fun being a waitress. <laughs> <clears throat> Good afternoon. My name is Miffy, and I'm your waitress today. <laughs> Hello, Miffy. Hi, Miffy. What would you like to order? I'd like some apple juice, please. And I'd like a bun, please, Miffy. Right away. <laughs> Good afternoon, Miss. I'm being a waitress. What would you like to order? <laughs> a slice of cake, please. Coming right up. <laughs> Hold on a moment, Miffy. I'm just finishing your mummy's sandwich. There. Thank you, Poppy. Your sandwich, madam. Thank you, Miffy. <laughs> right, I'm ready now. What did everyone order? Um, uh, I can't remember. Oh, can you remember any of it? Um, someone wanted apple juice. I think Boris wanted a bun. Oh no, that's wrong. Uh, oh no, I forgot everything. I'm a bad waitress. You're not a bad waitress, Miffy. I'm not? No, you took Mummy her sandwich, didn't you? Yes. And look, she's enjoying it. Yes. And soon everyone else will be enjoying their food. You just need to double check what they'd like. You're right. Thanks, Poppy. I'm sorry, Boris and Barbara. Could you remind me what you ordered, please? No problem. I wanted some apple juice. And I wanted a bun. Thank you. Hello, teacher. What did you want to order again? I'm afraid I forgot. A slice of cake, please, Miffy. Why don't you make up a rhyme to remind you who wants what? Oh, good idea. Mm, Boris wants some apple juice. Barbara wants a bun. Teacher wants a slice of cake. Waitressing is fun. Very good, Miffy. <laughs> Boris wants some apple juice. Barbara wants a bun. Teacher wants a slice of cake. Waitressing is fun. Did you get the orders, Miffy? <gasps> Boris wants some apple juice. Oh, yes. Barbara wants a bun. Oh, super. Teacher wants a slice of cake. Waitressing is fun. Oh, perfect. And very poetic, too. <laughs> I'll get straight to work. 
one apple juice, one bun, and one slice of cake. There, it's all ready. Now, can you remember who's getting what? The juice is... It's all right, Poppy. I remember. Boris wants some apple juice. Barbara wants a bun. Teacher wants a slice of cake. Waitressing is fun. <laughs> but you've forgotten the most important customer of all. <gasps> oh, no. I forgot someone again. But who? Who have I forgotten? You, of course. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I give you something nice to say thank you for helping me get so many happy customers? <laughs> oh, yes. I'd love a slice of cake, please. Coming right up. Ooh. Ah, 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 ah. You've done enough waitressing for one day. This time, I'm going to be your waitress. <laughs> <sighs> I thought you didn't need a little sit-down, Miffy. I do now. Waitressing is fun, but it's hard work. Oh. Yes, it is. Mm, <laughs> thanks, Poppy. Ooh, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> <laughs>